So I'm really unsure exactly how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna have to eat it anyway. Hey guys, I'm Junie the Orange Huntress and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we bring the hunt home and the wild inside. Today I'm doing a bit of a challenge. I don't know if you know this guy named Gordon Ramsay. I don't know, he's kind of a big chef. Yeah, big deal. Today I'm going to be cooking his red wine and chocolate sauce venison steak. I am a home chef. I am a home cook, I'm not even a home chef. But I thought I'd give this a try because it sounded amazing and uh, why not? Who doesn't love wine and chocolate? Like it's so good. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. You should leave me a comment down below if you think I'm going to win or if it's going to be an epic fail. In the past, I have broken many a sauce made with wine. So I'm not actually feeling very optimistic, but let's get into it. I linked Gordon Ramsay's video down below and I also included all of the ingredients that I used today so you can check that out in the description. I heated up my non-stick skillet with some olive oil and let that warm up until I was done prepping my venison. I prepped the back strap by patting it with some paper towel to get off all the moisture and then I gave it a really good coating of salt and pepper on both sides. When your oil looks nice and shiny like that and separates, you know that your pan is heated and ready to go I don't know if you noticed our little visitor above, but when I'm cooking, Mama, give me the food. I'm so hungry. That's how she acts every time we pull out venison. As you can tell, they're really starting to brown well. They got a good char on them. Um, you want to do that to each side, so that way it holds in the moisture really good and it doesn't get dry, it retains its flavor. It's just so awesome. Now, if you have watched Gordon Ramsay cook just about anything, you will know that butter is a staple in his kitchen, as it is mine <laughs> the more I cook with venison. You need to add fat to venison because it is so lean, whether it's oil or butter or bacon grease. Fat really enhances the flavor and locks in the moisture in the meat. You see that beautiful char on the bottom? Oh, yes, so good. Gordon Ramsay recommended to wrap the venison in butter paper, but I didn't have any, so I used tin foil. It worked out just fine. I preheated my oven to 400 degrees and left them on my middle rack for eight minutes. Once they were all done, I pulled them out and I let them sit on my counter for over half an hour because I was not ready for them. It's recommended you let them rest for at least 10 minutes before you cut into them. I felt like a little bit of a crazy person because I bought shallots. I have never bought shallots before in my life, but I really wanted to do this recipe justice, so I bought them. And I bought fresh garlic. I have minced in the fridge. <laughs> I felt crazy. I could not find fresh thyme though, so I did use dry. Probably about a half teaspoon or something. Gordon ended up using a fresh bay leaf, but I only had dried, so I used that. And I just sauteed those until everything was pretty tender. I ended up using about four or five shallots um, because in his video, there were a lot of things. I did not have pancetta because I forgot it. So I used bacon and um, it ended up being like three strips of bacon. Once everything in my pan was nice and sauteed, then I added my wine and uh, I flambéed. The kids were so pumped. I was just like, we have to do what Gordon Ramsay says, right? Let's light things on fire. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but we definitely love this part and got to do it a couple times. This is where things get a little bit dicey because I wasn't sure if the wine was reduced enough and I added my beef and chicken broth anyway. And then I wasn't sure if it was reduced enough, but it had already been cooking for so long and we just wanted to eat. Then I just said, it's going to be what it's going to be. So at this point, I knew it was so watery still. And 
<sighs> I just did not want to break my sauce. As you can see, I'm straining and pressing out all the liquid from those ingredients that I had in my pan. And now I am putting in that dark chocolate. We shaved it um, or grated it so it was nice and fine. However, I wish that I had put my pan back on the stove so then everything could be um, emulsified a lot better. Instead of making the slaw that Gordon did, I decided to make mashed potatoes because that was something my family was actually going to eat. So I prepped these with some butter and some sour cream and mashed them up and I did broccoli in the microwave because it's super easy and fast. Added some salt, added some butter, stirred that up and uh, yeah, that was that. My venison at this point had been sitting on my counter for at least an hour. <laughs> it's still pink. It actually looks way better on video than I thought that it initially was. It, like, it was so tender and so good. Like my daughter was asking for this stuff to be put in her lunch the next morning. As you can tell, my sauce is rather liquidy, but the flavor was on point. The biggest takeaway was this, that I should have reduced my sauce a lot longer and I should have put my chocolate back on the stove.